Indian neurologist with training in neuromuscular disorders from France, talks about the new experimental treatment for multiple sclerosis known as liberation procedure. In the last three months, he has been involved in the treatment of over 60 patients. The liberation procedure is also popularly known as CCSVI. I did my education as far as neurology is concerned from All India Institute of Medical Sciences, which is the largest public sector hospital in the country and a tertiary referral center for excellence and research. I've taken my training in neuromuscular disorders from France in Salpetria Hospital and uh, I have attended a large number of national as well as international conferences and I've been regularly delivering lectures on uh, various neurological disorders, particularly headache and multiple sclerosis across the country. Recently we have observed that patients who have got multiple sclerosis have got some abnormal venous uh, communications inside their neck. We found that uh, their veins in the neck as well as sometimes in their chest are narrower than they should be and this results in uh, an observation what we call as a chronic cerebrospinal venous insufficiency, CCSVI for short. There has been a theory that uh, this stenosis is associated with the, the actual pathogenesis of uh, multiple sclerosis. There is a reflux of blood at the level of these stenosis into the brain. This somehow tends to damage the blood-brain barrier and therefore cause uh, some deposition of iron inside the brain which causes some autoimmune process to be excited causing the relapses and remissions in patients with multiple sclerosis. So we have been doing this uh, so-called liberation procedure in our hospital for about 3 months now and we have done more than 60 cases. Uh, most of these patients are from different parts of the world, uh, Canada, US, Denmark, UK, Mauritius, Taiwan and these patients have uh, different levels and different stages of multiple sclerosis. We evaluate these patients in detail by doing a very thorough clinical examination followed by a MRI of the brain, the spine and an MR venogram of the brain and the neck vessels. After the MR venogram, we evaluate these patients by a venous doppler. This venous doppler is a dynamic scan which evaluates not only the presence or absence of stenosis but it also tends to see whether uh, this stenosis is associated with the reflux which I was just talking about. Once we are satisfied then we take up these patients for a digital venography and venoplasty to dilate these obstructed veins. Medical Tourism Corporation facilitates affordable medical and dental treatment at world-class international hospitals and clinics. Fill out the estimate request form on our site, medicaltourismco.com, for a free quote and more information.